Welcome and hello. This is a video tutorial in HECRAS, and in this lesson, I'm going to be discussing encroachments for steady state flow. All right, so what I have on the screen here is my HECRAS. I have a river reach that's sketched out uh, in the geometric data editor down below. It is 10,000 feet long, as you see here, from upstream to downstream. And let's talk about encroachments. Encroachments are in a modification to the cross section or cross sections and what that would do is modify how the simulation runs it would mod it would change the water surface elevation during the simulation however the encroachments are not saved in the ge geometry file or in the flow file but rather in in with the plan data so i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that real quick first a quick look at the cross section so if i click on the cross section here uh, never mind the results that we're seeing. I just wanted to um, demonstrate what the cross section looks like. This particular cross section is at the very bottom of the reach at River Station Zero. What I'm going to do here is create an encroachment for uh, two different types of encroachment. The first profile will be no encroachment, and then profiles two and three will be the two different encroachments that will occur for River Station 4000 through 6000. All right, so we'll see that in action in just a moment. The steady flow data right here is going to be a constant 300,000 CFS for PF1, 2, and 3. And now the moment you're all waiting for, the actual editing and data input for the encroachment. So to do that, we're going to click Run and then Steady Flow Analysis. We can also access this dialog box by clicking on the stick figure here that's running on the flat surface. And what I've done is I've created a plan. It's called 300K, just to help me remember what the flow rate is. And then the geometry file here is called base. The steady flow file here is 300K for three profiles. So to go ahead and create an encroachment, click options and then encroachment. As you notice, there's already a checkbox next to the word encroachment here, which helps me remember that encroachments have been set. But if you clear all the encroachments, then there's no encroachments. You will not see this check mark here. OK, so click encroachment. Now we have this dialog box that allows the user to specify the different encroachments. The first checkbox at the very top here is equal conveyance reduction. So by default, this is checked on. And when it's checked on, then HECRAS tries to create an equal obstruction or uh, encroachment from both the left side and the right side of the channel. Down below that, we have left bank offset and right bank offset. This is a distance that you can set to create a buffer from the left bank and right bank so that the encroachment cannot come any closer to that left bank or right bank river station. So for instance, if my left bank cross section station was at 300 and I put 20 here, then that means the closest the encroachment can come is not 300, but 280. And then if I had a 20 over here and then my right bank encroachment was 700, there's 300 there and there's 700 there, then the closest the encroachment can come is what would be 720. Okay. If you leave it blank, or I think zero is the default value, that means the encroachment can come all the way up to that bank station, both on the left side and the right side. Here we go. Okay, so next up, these are the global editors, the checkbox up here, and then the left bank offset and right bank offset. After that, everything else is specific to the profile that we select. So right now you're seeing profile two and three as the two different options here for profile. And by default, you cannot select profile one. So profile one is sort of reserved as the base profile. It's the profile that the other profiles and their encroachment data and simulation results are used to compare with. So we have three profiles. They're all the same flow rate. However, we can only select profile two and profile three for our different encroachments. Also, you can only view one reach at a time. So right now I have my river selected, my reach selected. I only have one river and one reach in my entire model. So that's easy. But uh, you, if you do add more rivers and reaches, you can only select one reach at a time. Now down below here, I already have my encroachment data entered. But if you enter, open this for the first time, you wouldn't see any values right here on the table. But say, for instance, I wanted to create an encroachment from river station uh, 4,000 up to 6,000, then I'd go ahead and enter data in these fields right here. 
Next, what's important for me to discuss is the different methods. So there's five different methods here, and right now it just says none or one through five. Now that's not very descriptive, but you can reference the user's manual here. This is the web page that I'm using to guide this particular lesson. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you scroll down a little bit, it tells you what those five different methods are right here. So you can read them yourself, but basically method one and two is what I'm gonna demonstrate in this lesson, but you can also use methods three through five. So method one is where the user enters the left and right encroachment station. Method two is the user enters the fixed top width. And then there's also three other methods here I'm not gonna read, but you can go ahead and experiment with them on your own. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate method one and two. By the way, method three through five are the only methods that apply for this checkbox at the very top, equal conveyance reduction. So if I select method one right up here, it's asking for value one to be the left station and value two to be the right station. Now I could type in values here of say 200 and 800, and then automatically it's gonna populate this table. Now this table, I could also just manually type in numbers. I could say that's 200 for the left bank for all three stations, and then 800. I'm just typing this in. Oops, hence the typo. And But if I wanted to, if I had a bunch of cross sections and a lot of data, using this set range of values and then clicking set selected range, it will auto populate this table down below. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Let me just delete this data once again. And then with one selected here, 200 and 800, all I have to do is click this set selected range. And oops, okay, I forgot to set the upstream downstream river station. It populated the bottom most cross section. What I wanna do is set it to these three rows. So the upstream is gonna be 6,000, and then the downstream is 4,000, set selected range, and boom, there's my data. So again, the method, dictates what this value one and value two mean. In this case, for method one, we know value one is the left station and value two is the right station. What that means is if I click on the cross section, then the obstruction is going to start at river station 200, and there's gonna be no flow left of river station 200 and no flow right of river station 800. It's gonna create like an artificial boundary or wall in the cross section, and hence, when the simulation runs, steady state in this case, it will um, affect that water surface profile. Okay, back to encroachments. What I've done for PF3 is, let me select the PF3. This is the flow profile three. This time I'm using method two. So if I select method two right here, I already have the data entered. This is a fixed top width and I've set it to 400. So that will fix the top width of the flow at 400 feet. Again, I could have typed this in or just use the tool. If you want to clear a specific profile, there's a button for that. If you wanna clear all the data for all the profiles, there's the clear all profile button. I'm not gonna do that though. What I'm gonna do is click okay, and then go back to my plan, click file, save plan. And to demonstrate the results, I'm gonna go and actually run this computation. Okay, so that's done. Click close. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some results. I covered results in the previous three lessons, 31 through 33. So I'm just gonna briefly show some results, not really demonstrate the details. View cross section. So this is the cross section at river station zero at the bottom, most part of the reach. I'm interested more in four, five, and six, and even further upstream. And then if I click on options and then profiles, I have all three profiles showing right now. So I'm gonna only show profile one, okay. This is no encroachment, so this is pretty boring. As you can see, the cross section is pretty much constant, just rising in elevation, both the invert, the channel geometry, and the water surface elevation. But if I go up to, say, River Station 6000, and then show all the profiles, select all, OK. Now we see the encroachments drawn in, as well as a slight change in water surface elevation. But I'm going to have to zoom in to actually see it. OK, so I've zoomed in a little bit and you see the water surface elevation change. This here is profile one, profile two, and profile three. And also if I scroll down to a different uh, cross section, it zoomed me out, but you can see that it does change a little bit. There's actually more deviation in the water surface elevation upstream of the encroachment. Yeah, right here, river station 7,000, this is the most dramatic. So I'm gonna zoom in, and then I'm actually going to colorize the different profiles. Right click, 
and then lines and symbols. Okay, so let's just go with two. For profile two, I'm gonna say no symbol. Let's make it green and also thicker. And then profile three, red and thicker and no symbol. Okay, so if I click okay here, okay, this makes it easier for me to see blue, yellow, uh, green and red. And if I go down just a little bit and then I zoom in, let me pan down. Okay, here we have blue, which has no encroachment, green, which has an encroachment up to this point here, which is River Station 200. All right, looks like it might be just left of 200. And then red is the profile three, which is just is right at 280. And the reason why it's not 300, because I set that top width to 300 or 400. So um, it's that 20 foot encroachment that we set in the global air editor. What I'm talking about here is if I go back to options, encroachments, and then profile three. Since it says 400 right here, we would expect it to, it to be 300 to 700, but it's not because of that 20 foot um, offset on both the left and banks. Okay, I'm gonna um, close that, close that. Let's look at one more result here. I'm gonna go up to view. Actually, water surface profile, I wanna look at this as well. So here I'm gonna zoom in. And again, I've zoomed in and I've changed the colors so they're easier to see. Here we have profile one with no encroachment, profile two, with uh, in some encroachment, profile three with more encroachment. Again, the encroachment is from 4,000 here to 6,000. So upstream of the encroachment is where we have the largest deviation in water surface elevation. So one last time, let's go ahead and look at some results. This time numbers, view, profile summary table. Now downstream of the encroachments, we have the exact same water surface elevation. So the encroachments don't appear to change anything downstream for this steady state simulation but the encroachment begins here at 4,000, and then it goes upstream to 5,000 and 6,000. And we get the most deviation in the water surface elevation at 7,000. So we have 83.2, 85.4, and 86.9. And that's for the flow of 300,000 CFS. Also, we're looking at standard table one. There are some other tables here for encroachment one, two, and three. So if we click on the encroachment one default table, we can see the uh, profile delta water surface elevation. So it's using profile one as sort of the base case, and then the delta is shown here. So you can see how upstream of the encroachment, we have 2.23 higher water surface elevation and 3.73 feet of higher water surface elevation. All right, well, anyway, there's other tables. There's lots of data to look at. This was just the first introduction video on encroachments covering uh, steady flow in HECRAS.